Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Silver Slug Coins and Cards. Today we're going to do a reveal of our big 131 card 86-87 Fleer Beckett submission. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of quickly go through these, kind of show you the grades, some of the stuff we got. It all turned out pretty decent. We'll set aside the big dogs. So, yeah, a lot of them came back. 7-5, 8-9s, 9-5s. Davis, Dawkins, Hebel was an 8-5, Mark Eaton was a 9, Danny Angel was a 9, these are in no particular order as well, James Edwards a 9, Alvin Adams, so yeah, I think personally I'm going to keep a lot of these because I do want to get a set that is at least Beckett 8, and then just upgrade it from there, so yeah, we did get the Barkley has an 8.5. No Jordans in this set that we submitted. So he is not in this set. Wayne Rollins, 8.5. So we're just going to slowly move these over as well when we're done showing them. Because it's a lot to get through. All right. It's a fun set. I mean, it's one of the, it's the iconic set. So Dan Roundfield, 8. Jeff Ruin, 9. Ralph Sampson, 8. It's fun for me with this set because you see guys that I grew up with collecting in the 90s on different teams before I collected them, like Dan Shea's, stuff like that. Bill Walton came back a 9. The iconic Spud Webb rookie came back a 9. Jim Paxson, 8.5. Frank Johnson was a 9. Magic Johnson was an 8.5. I'll set that aside. As well, Marquise Johnson 8.5, Vinny Johnson 8.5, Clark Kellogg 9, Wayne Cooper 8.5, Pat Cummings came back a 9, Vern Fleming came back an 8.5. So yeah, it was a huge submission. We did. Submitted in April, I believe. We did just the standard. What kind of service did we use? Just the collector special, so it was like 30 business days. So it took uh, four or five months to do it. So Paul Pressey was an 8.5. We'll get a little bit closer there for you. Kurt Rambus, 8.5. Jay Vincent, a 9. Mel Turpin, a 9. Al Wood was a 9.5. We did get a couple 9.5s. No 10s, though. But, yeah, that's the highest grade we got out of all of them was a 9.5. We had a couple 9.5s, though. So, with these ones, unfortunately, none of these are for sale. Because, like I said, I'm going to try to collect the set as an 8, back at 8 or higher. Sal Thompson, 8.5. Isaiah Thomas was a 9. We'll set that over there. Reggie Thewis was a 9. Kelly Tripuka was a 9. See, it's weird seeing him in a Pistons jersey because I remember him in the Hornets jersey as a kid. So it was kind of fun to see that. Same with Michael Thompson, Clay Thompson's dad. I don't remember him in a Trailblazers uniform ever. It was always the Lakers. Mike Woodson was a 9. Orlando Woolridge was a 9. Sydney Green was an 8.5. Ricky Green was a 9. And Bernard King came back a 9. So tons of 9s in this. So we got pretty... I'm very pleased with it. How many came back high grades. Moses Malone, 8.5. Bill Lambeer, a 9. Sidel Threat, 8.5. Carmelo Malone came back in eight, so we'll set that over here. Byron Scott came back in eight. Herb Williams a nine. That's rather nine five. I guess Williams. Mo Cheeks came back in eight five. Oops, hold on. Dennis Johnson was an eight five. Calvin Natt was a nine. Norm Nixon was a 9. Wayman Tisdale was a 9. So, yeah, it, this all came in one set. It was a beautiful set. But, unfortunately, there was no Jordan in the set. 
And so it happens. 8-5 for Louis Orr. So yeah, no Jordan came in the set. I wish it. I wish they wouldn't have pulled that out because it would have been crazy. I think the guy that we got this from, he opened them as a kid and just kept amazing good care of it. Jeff Malone, 8-5. Dave Greenwood, 8-5. Derek Harper, 8. Daryl Griffin, Griffith, 8-5. Bill Hanslick, 8-5. Gerald Henderson was an 8. Roy Henson, 8-5. Craig Hodges, 8-5. I remember him with the Bulls. Phil Hubbard, 8. Jay Humphreys, 8-5. Eddie Johnson, 9. Buck Williams was a 9. I remember him with the Blazers. World B3 came back a 9. George Jervin, Iceman, was an 8. Rodney McCrary. McCray came back at an 8. Xavier McDaniel was an 8. Sidney Moncrief, 9. Kevin McHale was an 8-5. Larry Nance, beautiful looking card, 8-5. Mike Mitchell was an 8-5. Gerald Wilkins was a 9. Sam Perkins was an 8. Ricky Pierce was a 9. So like I said, we are missing a couple of the cards in this set. 8-5, unfortunately, or we'd be complete. 8-5 for the Michael Cooper. The Doc came back a 9. Alvin Robertson was an 8-5. Cliff Robinson was an 8. Alright, we'll move these guys over as well. Isaiah Thomas and Barkley. And there wasn't a lot of stickers. So we have a few of the stickers. Those stickers, they grade so bad. It's so hard to get a good high grade on the stickers. Rolando Blackman, an 8.5. Sam Bowie, 8.5. Joe Barry Carroll was an 8. Mike Jeminski was an 8.5. Tom Chambers, 8.5. Steve Johnson, 8-5. Robert Reed, 8-5. Terry Cummings, an 8-5. Oh, that's my stickers. There we go. I kind of missed that one. So, Matt Johnson, 6-5. I'll put that over there. Rory Sparrow, 9. Alan Lebel, a 9. Alton Lester, a 9. Lewis Lloyd, guys that I don't even know, was an 8. Obviously, Alex English was amazing. Was a nine. Julius Irvin came back a nine. We'll set that over there. We're gonna pick it. Larry Drew was an eight five. All right. Then we got Clyde the Glide at an eight five. Joe Dumars eight five. Let's set that over there too. Sleepy Floyd was a 9. Artis Gilmore, a 9. Kevin Willis, a 9. John Bagley, 8-5. Manute Bowl, 8-5. And kind of here's where we get into the stickers. Last of them. So we did get a few... That came back like a 5-5 five, because five of like surface because it had some colorization to it, but otherwise it would have been a 9. We put those out for sale already in the shop, so they're, they're out, so they're not going to be in this video, unfortunately. And so there was a few 7-5s as well that I'm not going to put in my collection, so we put it out. So unfortunately, it's not going to be in this video. But the stickers, we are going to keep those because they just don't grade very high, so it's kind of tough, as you can see by the grade. So Magic Johnson, 6-5. Larry Bird was a 6. Adrian Dantley was a 6. Julius Irvin was a 7. Patrick Ewing was a 6. Hakeem Olajuwon was a 7-5. Isaiah Thomas was a 6. 
Dominique Wilkins was a 6-5. So put the stickers aside here. That one was a 9. Fat Lever was a 9. Purvis Short came back in 8. Jack Sigma in 8-5. Jerry Sitchdean, however you say it, 8-5. Derek Smith a 9. And Larry Smith was a 9. So there are a few that were missing. Obviously the big dog with Michael Jordan. I don't even think we had an Akeem Elijah one in this collection either. Um, but yeah, the bigger rookies. We'll do another recap on those. So yeah, I mean I'm very pleased with it. To have Clyde Drexler 8-5 again. Barkley 8-5. Thomas a 9. Malone was an 8. Dumars, 8-5, and Julius Irvin. Obviously, he's not a rookie, so he goes up there. But, yeah, overall, I was pretty pleased with how they all came back graded. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the submission. See how we did. I think we did very well. But, like I said, unfortunately, I'm going to keep these guys because I am building a set of 86-87 Fleer, all 8 or higher. And then probably going to upgrade later to a 9. We'll see how expensive it gets. So good luck with all of your guys' submissions as well. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks, guys.